I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. A verse that you would have never expected to find in the New Testament. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your Christian faith in two places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor and his Jack Russell Terrier named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. He's got that treat trapped in the side of his mouth. He can't get it out. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. Also, digital magazine. Look at my iPad. Isn't that beautiful? It's not the iPad that's that what's on the iPad. The Higher Things magazine, 19 years of this magazine. It's digital now, hyperlinks, Bible studies. You get them all, $20 a, a year, all of them. The Higher Things magazine at your fingertips. Subscribe today. Link in the description. All right. Galatians 5, 11 and 12. Poor guy still got the treat in his mouth. Uh, but brothers, if I still preach, if I still preach circumcision, why am I being persecuted? In that case, the scandal of the cross would be set aside or abolished. You know what? Would that you would just cut the whole thing off. I think that's a good place to stop. Speaking of verses you never expected to have in the New Testament. So, dear me, thank you, hunters. Thor and I are very appreciative, especially Thor. Look how happy he is. Thank you so much for the gift. So, Paul, remember, is saying to the Galatians, who had a preacher come after him. And the preachers that came after him said, oh, that gospel that you preached was so good. That gospel that Paul preached, it was so good. It was so wonderful. You know, all you got to do to make that thing sure is just get a little snip snap, a little circumcision, a little keeping of the Jewish law. Boom. Da-da. The end. You're justified. But Paul said, great, just add one little thing, just a little thing. You don't even need that part. Just, just a little bit of circumcision, and booyah, you're saved. And Paul says, look, the gospel plus anything, even a little thing, the gospel plus anything, you're lost. The gospel plus your good works, the gospel plus your change, the gospel plus your decision, the gospel plus you're making Jesus the Lord of your life, the gospel plus whatever it is that you think has to be added to the gospel in order to make it sure ruins everything. And Paul is very emphatic. If you think you need to be circumcised in order to be saved, I wish you just cut the whole thing off. Why stop there? If you think you're going to be justified by what you do, why stop with just a little bit of flash? If you think that your decision is going to save you, then you better decide perfectly. If you think that your faith as a work is going to save you, ooh, getting a little grumpy here. You better be a sweet dog and get in your bed. Get in your bed. Oh, yeah, sneeze in the bed. All right. If you think that something you is going to save you, you better recognize it's not going to happen. You might as well cut the whole thing off. Cut off the faith. Cut off the change. Cut off the decision. Cut the whole thing off because you cannot save yourself by anything you. And if you think it's circumcision that's going to do it, cut the whole thing off. And I think I need to cut myself off here because you get what I'm saying. This is how serious that is. That may not have come out right. That This is how serious the whole thing is. It is not it's just a little thing that we're going to add, just a little thing that we're going to add, just a little law that we're going to add. No, any law, any law, small law, big law, any law is going to separate you from God because you can't do it. Like I've said it before, if it's 99% you, 1%, 99% God and 1% you, the 1% is going to cause you to be damned. If the wheels on the bus, they go round and round, 
if like nine of them are Jesus, or eight of them are Jesus, and one of them is you, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. A verse that you never expected in the New Testament, and there it is. Would that you would cut the, if you think this is going to save you, I wish you'd just, just finish the thing off. Because it's not. Next Thursday, all about freedom. This week, this is how important the gospel is. If you think this is crude, Paul is deliberately crude. And he's crude in order that you would be saved. Jesus alone, his cross, his suffering, his dying alone saves you. Believe this for Jesus' sake. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.